hydro seeding is uh, is basically a wood fiber mulch, and there's a green dye in there. It's uh, actually a vegetable-based dye. Uh, it's simply for application. It's photo uh, degradable, so it's gone in about three, four days. The mulch turns back to its parent uh, brown color. Basically, what it does is it uh, provides uh, moisture retention for the seed and keeps the birds and whatnot from being able to pick that seed and take it away. It protects what's called splash erosion. When a raindrop comes down from the sky and it hits that mulch, it absorbs that energy. If you've ever watched your garden, uh, after it rains, it gets all crusty. Basically, the mulch stops that from happening. When that crust forms, uh, basically, it's very hard for, for anything to germinate and get through that crust. So we're putting a pillow in between that so we get better germination. Basically, the water is the carrier of the mulch, and it creates a slurry. There's agitation inside the machine, mixes it all up, and then it's applied through a high-pressure pump and sprayed out, as you saw earlier. This is a brand new machine for Mid-Canada Hydro Seeding. It's actually the largest in the prairies now. It's a 3,300 gallon hydro seeder. It's got a 200 horsepower John Deere motor on it. Uh, basically, it can cover one acre of land per spray load. Uh, so you're covering a lot of material. It, it carries 40 bags of mulch, which is 2,000 pounds of mulch. And the, the brown biotic earth, it actually carries almost 4,000 pounds of biotic earth. Uh, at Wisquatam, we're looking at 77 hectares, which is about 770,000 square meters of uh, hydro seeding to be done. So it's quite a significant area.